All right, so what's up guys? Before you get started and type a comment being like, Tom, you were wearing that in the last video. Why do you never change your clothes? It's because I'm filming this video on the same time that I filmed my last video. I've got a really busy week, so I'm just sort of backlogging a bunch of content. I want to get a budget Wednesday up this week because I missed it last week. And then my second question is this thing over here. This is my new sort of lens or gear uh, collection. I'm sort of laying everything out as you can see. Um, I want my sort of cameras at the top and my lens collection and things like that. This is topical because what I want to talk to you in today's episode of Budget Wednesday is the Sigma 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8. So this lens, this is the Sigma 70mm f2.8. All right, what's up, it's Editing Tom here. So this guy in the frame right here throughout this entire video didn't mention that this is not the Sigma 7200 art version. This is the older generation of this lens. It's not the sport art version of the lens. Thought that might come across as you definitely can't pick up that sport version for around about $500, which I come on to mention later in the video. Anyway. Back to the video. It is a telephoto lens, which I have been using for the sort of, a, I guess, a couple of months. There we go. You can have a little bit closer look at some of the optics there. It is a really, really beautiful, well-constructed piece of gear. And I've absolutely been loving it on uh, my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. There we go. Let's fix that focus here. So as I say, I've been shooting this primarily on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. 4k now as you know on that camera i've talked about it uh, before on this channel i basically use the uh, blackmagic pocket 4k and then i have a viltrox speed booster to adapt it to an ef mount meaning that i can use glass like this basically for the sole purpose of expanding the compatibility of decent ef glass or glass personally i'm just not about these tiny little micro four thirds lenses i think you can get fantastic results using that gear but i don't think they like hold their value quite as well and i just personally feel like ef glass is a better investment and i want to talk about this lens particularly for two reasons first of all is that i think it is a fantastic alternative to the more expensive variation of the uh, Canon 70-200 f2.8. Now that lens is really incredible. I've used it on a couple of occasions, rented both times because it is quite expensive. But this lens comes really, really close in terms of image quality. Um, the stabilization is not quite as good, even though this is a stabilized version of this lens. I found that the stabilization not quite amazing, especially on the Pocket 4K because that has no internal image stabilization. It just means that you have to be a little bit more careful in terms of not using this lens on a sort of a really run and gun uh, setup. Not that you work as a telephoto, but again, just sort of being aware of the uh, lens capability. That 70 to 200, the Canon version, the stabilization is much better. But in terms of sharpness, image quality, uh, color reproduction, bokeh, this lens is really, really gorgeous. I've been just thoroughly impressed. I've used this on a couple of client shoots now. And like I said, I've been thoroughly impressed with the glass. So like I said, Budget Wednesday, that's kind of the main reason why I want to just almost talk about this lens as just a fantastic alternative to that more expensive version. It's about half the price. You can pick up this lens for about $1,000, which is about half the price of the Canon version of this glass. Or, and this we're going to bring on to my second point, I talk about it a lot in these Budget Wednesday episodes because these are designed to basically save you money as a photographer or a videographer, and that is to buy them used. For some reason, don't ask me why, but this lens does not hold its value amazingly well. So I was able to pick this piece of glass up on eBay for around about £450, which is about $600. So you're just saving a massive amount of money over the Canon equivalent of that piece of glass. Again, if you're wanting to spend £2,000, $2,000 on a piece of glass like the Canon 70-200, to go for it. It is a fantastic piece of glass. But if you're wanting to save yourself a bit of cash, check out the Sigma 70-200. to Save yourself a bit of cash and get some experience shooting with a telephoto lens. And then you can always upgrade in the future. This has been a fantastic addition to my camera bag paired with the Pocket 4K. It is an incredible combination. And hey, you can do it for under $500 if you check it out on eBay. I think that's it for this Budget Wednesday, guys. I want to keep this one short and simple. Check out this lens and I'll catch you guys next time.